Hey, this is Rev. Today I have for you the smallest expandable seamless glass hipster door. That's too high. So there's closing. It's a bit long, but that's because of how small it is. You have to make some sacrifices. What makes this so small is that it uses two hopper ROMs, which pretty much store all the data that's needed to um, correctly sequence to opening and closing. So that's closing, here's opening. You just wait a bit. This opening's not super slow, but it also doesn't have any entities or cobweb tricks, which is nice. This is also the same, if you expand it to two, this is also the same size as the 2x2 hipster I built a while ago with four other people. And right here, this is just a version which is expanded only to one block, so you can see how small it is. It's only two wide, five high, and ten long, or nine long. Just closing. Then you have to wait for this cooldown here. That's the only real downside about it. And after the cool cooldown's done, you can open it. Yep. So let's get on to the tutorial. So before we start the tu tutorial, I forgot to mention that this store was made both with Yop Tropics and Sacred Redstone. So they both helped build it. And to build this, you're going to need a 2 wide, 9 long, and 5 high area. So that's 180 blocks. And we'll start with our extender. You want to go 4 blocks in from the front of the door. I'd like to start 2 blocks above the ground. You want to go 1 block further up. That'll be where your triple extender is. You're also going to have 2 pistons right there. And one of them is going to have an observer on it, like that. You want to go four blocks back and do a double extender right there. That will be used for the block storage for the glass. You can put your glass in right now, as well as a floor block here. You want to put one immovable block right here so this bottom piston here can't extend and push this piston here over and that's it so we can get started on building our circuitry our input block is going to be right here below this second piston in the extender and we're going to put a torch here and build our hopper circuit like that and we'll put items in it later but first, to build the closing, we're going to get an output from this hopper here with this observer. Have another observer facing down, which goes into a block right there. And below that block, we'll have a redstone dust that gets powered right there. This will power this piston here, which powers this block with a redstone dust on it. And the pist observer facing up. And to make sure that this dust here doesn't power this piston, we have to redirect it. And so if you're building it too wide or longer, you don't have to do this, because the redstone will be redirected like that. But in order to redirect it, we use an observer here, as this is the only block, because we have to place a comparator on top of it. So the obs an observer is the only block that can redirect it like that. We're also going to have a, right here, a four tick repeater with an observer facing down into this piston here, as well as a piston facing up, or observer facing up, observer facing to the side of this four tick, a three tick repeater here, and another um, observer facing up. And that should be most of our closing done. There's still a bit more that we have to do, as a lot of it is also done by this hopper ROM here. So to build that, we're going to do three comparators coming from this uh, hopper circuit 
which go into a redstone dust, which is on top of an observer facing up. This will be used for later. This will be um, detected by an observer and will power this block and this dust here going into this repeater. And detecting the output from the repeater, we're going to have a, a observer there, which will have go into a block, redstone dust, and a four tick repeater here. Okay, so now to do our hopper circuit in our opening, we're going to need a block that, or an item that only stacks to 16, some non stackable item. Here and then also a stackable item. And so we're going to put uh, five items here that only stack to 16, three items that stack to or are non stackable. You want to put 23 items that stack to 64 here. That will give those items will flow at the right, right to give the right pulses to this line and to this circuit here. And below that hopper circuit we're going to do a second one here and this will be used to control the rest of our triple in here you're going to put yeah wrong hopper. you're going to put six items that stack to 64 a non-stackable five of a different item that stacks to 64 then one more non-stackable item and this will give an output to that comparator and we'll be detect and this dust here which will be detected by this observer and to filter out the pulses to make sure that we only get them on the correct edge we're going to have a repeater here from this redstone dust which goes into a piston here for block right there so on closing this block will be moved here and so this observer here can't, can't power this piston here and on closing it'll, or on opening it'll put it back here so we can pulse this piston from that we're going to have an observer detecting the head of that piston. I'm just going to place this now because we have to place stuff on top. I'll place an observer facing down, one facing back towards this piston and a hopper beneath it. And on top we're going to place two repeaters on four ticks. Then here from this hopper we're going to have two more observers that go back over here so it sort of goes in a circle going to this dust and we're going to take out this here. We're going to have two repeaters here that detect this dust. And one's going to go into this block here, which powers our bottom piston. Then a hopper, which is powered by this block. An observer, which powers this line here, which powers this block again. Just we can place our stuff back here. Now one final thing we have to do is we're going to have an uh, observer facing up right there. And this actually has to be on a slab, like that, so it doesn't power this line up here. We have two more observers like that. I'm gonna just take the, the take out this block here when I place this. We have a repeater on four ticks right there, which will power this dust up here and power this line. And that there should be our entire uh, door completely finished. Okay, so there's actually one small mistake I made which is that this repeater, or this dust here, has to be a one tick repeater instead. And so once you make that correction, the door should work properly. If there's closing, it's a bit weird how it works, but it does the job. Once our cooldown finishes, here we can open it now. That's our first block retraction. Here's our second. And there's our opening. So now to expand it, the first layer is going to be slightly different, but then after that, every layer should be fairly easy. So we can first start by building our layout. One more block. Like that. And for our first layer, we're going to put on the slab here, a dust. This only, it only has to be a slab for the first layer, so it doesn't bud power this piston. And have 
our dust here. Observer facing up. Three tick repeater here as well. And two more observers facing up to power our double. We're going to extend this line of dust here. If you did that, you can just reset it. We're going to have two observers here, which powers this block. Put the block here to stop the dust here from redirecting, or from connecting down here. And place again a one tick repeater and a four tick repeater here. And place two more blocks here. A dust and a repeater, like that. So that's how you do your first layer. And the second layer, and every layer after that, is just a copy of that layer without this slab here. So this can be a normal block. Just want to extend all our inputs. Out one block. Two observers here into a block. Dust here, make sure it's cut off. Two repeaters there, one on one tick, one on four tick. Our two pistons here in observer. Do our triple. And make sure this is on three ticks. Once again, copy that three tick repeater into observers. Two observers facing up. Immovable block. In our double in our storage. Into this here. Should work perfectly fine. Which it does. So it's going to just wait for our cooldown. That's the end of our cooldown. Then we can open it. And it should work completely fine. Yep, and that's it. So, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.